This is Kiddleston House in Derbyshire. And what we're looking at is a Palladian style house with its central block and two pavilions. The central block contains the rooms used purely for show and entertainment, where the left pavilion was used as the family's living quarters. The right hand pavilion was taken up by the servants' quarters and kitchen. In fact, Kiddleston is still used much the same way today. The central rooms are open for visitors, the left pavilion still has members of the Curzon family living in it, and the right hand pavilion is used by the National Trust staff, with the kitchens now being the cafe. The house was built by Nathaniel Curzon, 5th Baronet, later 1st Lord Scarsdale, and there he is with his wife, whose dowry apparently paid for the entire house. The Curzons have been at Kettleston since the 12th century, and before this house was built, things looked very different. The main road to Derby ran just the other side of the railings, and which is in front of the house here, and there was a village here which was moved further away with the road being diverted to make way for this idyllic landscape that you see today, which is virtually all man made, including the lakes. Curzon wanted Kettleston based on Oakham Hall in Norfolk, so he employed the same architect, Matthew Brennington, to design the house. This is Oakham Hall, so you can see the similarities. There was already a house on this site, so Brettington built the family pavilion first, so they had somewhere to live where they demolished this old house. Shortly after, Brettington was replaced with James Payne, who built the kitchen pavilion. Robert Adam was also at Kettleston designing new garden buildings and eventually took charge of the whole project. Adam was inspired by the architecture from ancient Rome that earned him the nickname Bob the Roman. For the north front, which so far we've only looked at, he more or less kept to the features proposed by Brettington and Payne, with his own improvements of course, but it's the south front that he produced something new. So we are now looking at the south front. Originally it was intended to have two pavilions on this side, but these were never built, most likely due to Curzon not being able to afford them. The south front is based on the Arch of Constantine in Rome, with the low dome of the Pantheon, which we will see later inside. Kettleston was built to rival Chatsworth House. Chatsworth, belonging to the Cavendish family, were the main supporters of the Whig party, where the Curzons were the Tory supporters, so both houses can be seen as opposing political powerhouses within Derbyshire. This is Robert Adams' bridge, which was probably inspired by James Payne's bridge at Chatsworth that we saw in the previous image. This is Bentley's well. Before the changes to the park, this is where the well was for the village. I was now going to do a tour around the house, but unfortunately due to it only just reopening after the lifting of the COVID restrictions, not all the rooms are open so far. So for this video, I'm just going to show you two of what I consider to be the most spectacular in the house. This is the marble hall, arguably the grandest room. It's inspired by an atrium or an open courtyard in a Roman villa. It's lit from the top. Of course, in Rome, these would have been open but due to the Derbyshire weather, these are actually got glass in them. Another wow factor is the saloon, inspired by the Pantheon in Rome, which I mentioned outside. It was occasionally used for balls and has a sprung floor. Hopefully it won't be too long before I can take you around the rest of the house, but for now, find us on Facebook for daily updates and more.